and the next is Dragon Knight and Invoker. All right, let's go Invoker. Crosswalks? I don't know. They might look to join. Garter hasn't skilled anything yet, but he could get that charge if he wants to get active. They are moving in. There's the breeze fire off the bat. The chase come through, trying to burst down Arteezy. He is being hurt by the chilling touch here, but first of all is going to be the Ember Spirit. It's a one for one thus far. Q now getting the wrong end of Universe's flaming sword as he runs up the ramp, tries to juke. I think one he's going to die. Attack, and 315 here... Should be get him with this last auto attack. Just the braid set. EG, they strike first. They get the first blood. They get the one for one bounty run trade. And when Fear plays the Bane, oftentimes he's going to be here to just give him the biggest advantage possible. Yeah, meanwhile, C deck, they are running the Spirit Breaker Ember Duel Lane, at least for now. A bit of pulling from him is we do see the sleep. Can they make the go on Cheeky? You betcha. Avatar's and done. EG off to the races here early on. Look at Seed is on getting level six. There's gonna be a charge down towards the top rune as fear. We'll get caught by that initial charge. Then there's a sleep. Looking to turn, rotating in his oh, PPD he's got as well. Bird. He is fairly tanky here, but they're gonna try to pursue this one. Garner taking a lot of damage from the auto attacks, and one more should get the job done with the double damage run of fear. They do. Another kill for EG as the courier decides it wants a little celebration. Melee course. The one good spot though for CDEC is even if EG take the advantage in the early game, their high ground present. Oh, there's the toss. Beautifully played by Arteezy. Now trying to chase down Cheeky and will end up going down another grab for EG. It's just too easy for Kind of do some damage to the mid tower. And that's what you want is the DK. You Let's want to punish see. the mid He's going to find Arteezy down in the river. This could be an opening. They charge in. Arteezy, the avalanche actually interrupts it. A trap Garner up on the high ground. What a miraculous ever that was. And now the turn from Sumail. Nothing going right here for C deck is the chase. Sumail does chain up, but lacking the mana for further pursuit. And while this is also going on, there's an initiation on mid here as looks to set things up there with the sleep. And now the quick dunk chasing onwards towards Cheeky. Can they actually bring him down? They did have the additional slow coming from PPD, but Cheeky is another tanky get this kill. and aggressive. Is going to rotate in. He wants Universe here, has the plus heal from the Saturn. Not going to be enough. The charge also coming onto Fear, but he's got a nightmare available. Might be able to cancel this. With that, the charge comes in. PPD. Does have the cold embrace. Garter diving deep for this. And meanwhile, on the side of the fight, two males come in. The ice blast has arrived. It's not going to hit anything. It's two males just gets done right outside the boundary of it. Uppercut it, focus, but gets up the shock room. Garter quickly getting brought down. Beautiful embrace to keep him alive. Finally, they'll grab two males. So far, one for one. It is a core for a support. Arteezy has a blink. But now the Doom on Shiki Aggressive able to TP out just barely at that. And it looks like they are hunting, killing off the Tusk on the side of the fight. And now hunting towards Shiki, looking to bring him down as well. The Brain Sap and the Horse. And enough, the Hadouken is the kill. Another one. EG. Mid. Have to take a lick of damage. They're going to charge on the Sumail. Has the chain available. Gets it up, but no, it's interrupted. This is the opportunity for a kill. And C Deck will quickly claim it. And with that one... But that almost max ice board. A little bit of that map. Oh, they get the ward down. They see Sumail. The snowball comes in. Can Fear turn the fight around? Ice Blast. No chance. Instantly deleting the timber. But it is going to come to cost as they will trade Garter for that. And now PPD joins the fight. Trying to slow these heroes down. That is Q's Midas, though, very early considering the start was rather slow for him. XC chucking out the shards. And that is going to be the end of the fight. A two for one. Two supports for a core. Two. But he had no idea that that was going to happen at that moment. And Universe, they Universe. might just get the turnaround that Snowball. they need. See deck, they've been looking for these openings. They've been few and far between, but there's another strike pushing him back into He's the got one. And he can't get out in the end. Nice. Meanwhile, top, they found Aggressive again. Does he have the defensive remnant this time as well? He jumps back once. Sumail looks to chase with the Chakram. Aggressive, try to bait this a bit, just narrowly dodging out from the chain. And now looks for the turn, gets off his own chain, and goes in on the Sumail. Remnanting to try to dodge the damage and finish him off. Q does get it done. A big grab there, two cores down. As C deck ramp up the aggression, but they're going to need help top because the entire EG family has joined the fray. You killed our brothers. We shall avenge them. They do end up killing off the AA and the Embers. Uh, plinking away at Roshan and EG, I think they kind of matched it, but mid charge as well as the Ice Blast. It's a connection on Universe, then they get another strike follow-up in Universe. No heal, no way out. They may lose Garter as the trade of Sumail drags back the Shocker will connect. Then they get the grip on Q. It is in the end a two for one. Oh, he's got the for There's the big chuck back from Arteezy, and Shiki may die as well for this. So close to falling, has the blink, can't get it off. Constantly damaged and harangued on the way out. He too will drop and...
you know, the big... And ZG's turn to smoke. Two smokes crossing in the night. Who's going to get the jump here? The Dragon Knight starts it off. They get off the Ice Blast. It's on Universe. But in return, Arteezy will quickly get the dunk, breathing down the except person after he's unloaded. And then PPZ gets a beautiful ultimate. Oh, and Timber with the punish coming in. Massive AoE damage. Cheeky and aggressive trying to turn this fight, but they've lost four. It might well be five. Aggressive, no more remnants. No way out. No surrender. EG. Clean up, C deck. And they make it look easy after that curse. That was the perfect initiation. Opposite of how aggressive wants to be playing Dota. The counter initiation is coming, EG. They don't have a tower to go back to. This is a really a long too. way to die. They do get off the Ice Blast here. It's going to be a two. It looks like Snowball coming in. Fear with the Glimmer, though. They still managed to uppercut him and try to finish him off. Can they do it? Cheeky comes in. They get a Bane, but that's it. They need more. Stunning Universe. Jumping. No, just kidding. C deck. They're on the retreat and EG don't even have to. The magic wand and the drums completed. This is not an easy hero to kill by any means, even with the pure damage. Link Ava, they found one in the river. It's XZ trying to turn this. Is aggressive. The ice blast is good enough. In. This might be enough to bring on Arteezy. Can he get any damage out in return? The snowball comes through. Does match the stun too, but Sumail! Sumail again just cleans up. Arteezy takes the bullet. And Sumail will look to punish. Ticking up, but it's not like they can exactly kill him Might either. Be a he little him. bit of aggressive. Oh my. We saw in the Sumail profile that he loves to play aggressive, and he certainly is now. Sumail getting caught out here has the Bloodstone. If he's really worried about it, could go for the deny. He's not. Then the Glimmer helps keep him alive. He makes it out. Again. That Spearbreaker get very close to him. And he gets off the Nether Strike. He's going to engage. It looks like they're trying to bait this one. Aggressive suddenly rides. The AA has an eggs up. The curse gets deployed, but it's after the old hits. Arteezy is going to take a lot of damage from this one. But now they're forced back. Aggressive doomed and dealt with. Garter also on the retreat. In the middle of it all, there's a grip trying to lock down XC, but he had a BKB, so he's very healthy through this. As Sumail engages onto two, Shiki gets the hell away. Not often you see a dragon running towards one. And he's been delivering time and time again. Been able to kill the core. And they might just get another one here as it flies in. Uh oh, our EG getting sloppy. Sumail likely to go down here. Gets off the Bloodstone deny. So they don't actually give up the kill. They do get one in return, bringing down the Spear Breaker. Man, this Battle Fury is really taking a while. They are going to charge. They find out PPD in the mid lane. Uppercut there. They're going to commit some BKBs. Looking to finish off the Wyvern before he can get off a single cell. And they do it. Well, they get the kill. And they do get out. See that going for these plays. They get the shards there. And it is a decent trap onto Arteezy in the pit. The a blast. He rolls in. He wants to keep PPD out of the fight. The A Blast is there. It hits absolutely nothing. Not the way that you want to begin this one. Roach kind of watching this. The chaos that sees outside the pit. And it's Arteezy with the big stick going to work. Beating down aggressive in the Garter after getting his first kill of the fight. Garter did manage to find one as XZ gets pursued by Universe on the southern end. Looks like he'll drop here in a moment as well. Snowball's forward onto Fear. Tries to blink out. Gets up the wall. Punch down. He goes too. And and then back to Arteezy and Sumail, hunting after Garter. They're going to club him down as well. Death to the Tiny. And now, likely back to the... Right on the money on the heroes that he had to. And if he was able to hit both fourth there, maybe they stand a chance. But they just didn't really get the jump that they wanted. Both heroes were able to BKB before... The deck turn in this game is a bad fight into an Ice Blast. He was trying to get off the cold feed here. Kind of a forward position for him, a bit dangerous. But in the end, the tower will fall. And C deck are cornered. Aggressive getting the chains off, but it's only on Arteezy. And again, he's still got the Aegis here. They've really got to do more if they want to try and take a fight. Arteezy will get held in position. They've committed the Dragon Form too. They have the Ice Blast, but yeah, popping the Aegis at this point, is it even really worth it? No, it's about to expire in a minute. I think EG just. You've got to gonna come in. You need that big ultimate here, and they start to get a bit nervous. They're trying to back out. Cheeky jumps in, does get the jump here off the net. The ice blast coming through. It might hit a three. It does, but the BKBs get popped, and they are gonna try to turn this cheeky doomed up and kept out of the fight. It doesn't really seem like the ice oh, blast. Cheeky's got, got the cover. Now. Tiny comes the party. Bangs one down. Looks for more. XC, you're next. Go back. Go home to the well. Now, uh, Avalanche even trying to catch him on the snowball landing, and he will stick it. So it seems EG once again. Just Sam, I had to go for that, just because of the position that they're in. And mid, oh, he gets hex. This might be the game. Even he does have a buyback, but forcing that buyback out, his item progression just been non-existent. That in and of itself could just be the end for C deck in game one. Last time these two teams clashed for the first time. 
in the winner's bracket. It wasn't the winner bracket finals at TI5, and it was there that CDEC got the... Seems to have made the difference so far. Charge in from Garter. Could be interrupted. He gets off the BKB. He does engage. Two heroes done from him, but they're going to need a lot more than that. The Ice Blast coming in. It will connect on the Doom, it looks like. But again, the BKBs from EG completely negating with this Ancient Apparition brings to the fight as they focus on Garter. Looking to bring him down. Nobody dead just yet on CDEC. But BKBs will be wearing off soon. There's the curse. It locks down Aggressive, who just fought back. Slight of this. Remnants away. Can he make it out? Chamber James. Sumail slices him up. Punishes the carry player for CDEC, and that is just about it and CDEC they know it they've been beat they've been bested here in game one and they will call the GG a virtually flawless performance from EG no big mistakes 47 minutes to get CDEC that ain't easy and Arteezy says it's easy for me I'm gonna get two Midas's for me this game kind of just boiled down to the draft and how much EG were able to get out of the lanes they were able to punish from minute one they took aggressive out of the game by constantly pressuring him mixing things up and from there, I mean, they just...